Okay, welcome back to Screen Print TV. I know you guys can't see my face or see me, but today we're going to do two things. We're going to dehaze and degrease a screen. And this is how I do it. I use a Rhinotech uh, dehaze solution. It's about gone. It's about gone. It settles, so you have to shake it up. And I like to spray a little water on my screen. With it just a little bit, not much. And I lay my screen flat. Make sure my solution is shook up real good. And make sure you wear gloves when you do this if you have them. Gloves and masks are hard to find because of our current situation. So what I'm gonna do is I don't know if I showed you guys the let me see I show it to you. The ghost image that's in the screen. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the ghost image like right in here, like right there, going going up here. So sort of like a little box. That's what I want to get out. I'm gonna get the ghost images out the screen. That's uh left over from your last print job. So just squeeze it on. Just squeeze about that much on. Let's get a scrub brush. And make sure you stay off the uh, glued areas of your screen. And just make sure you got good ventilation. Make sure you have good ventilation when you work with these chemicals. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for about, about 10 minutes and I'll get back with you guys in about 10 minutes. Okay, I'm back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrub it a little bit more before we wash it out. And I really should be using a pressure washer to do this, but since my pressure washer exploded on me, I'm not gonna bring it in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the water hose. The water hose is not gonna do the job that I want it to do, but you get the idea. Well, let me turn my water on. For a minute there, I thought I forgot to pay my water bill. All right. Okay. 
Okay. It is didn't do what I wanted it to do. Cause I need my pressure washer. So I'm gonna have to take it outside and uh dehaze it better. It it did a little, but it didn't get the entire image out. But I said I'm gonna show you how to dehaze and degree the screen. And this is what I use to degrease the screen. I'm not advertising for Dawn, but this is what I use. I just use a simple Dawn dish detergent and a sponge. I just put a little bit on the sponge like that. And Move over my screen. Like that with a sponge. And I just flip it over. And do the back side. Let me make sure that I scrub it real good. And I just, just let it sit there for about a minute. And then just spray it out. So that's how I de degrease and dehaze my screen, or dehaze and degrease my screen. Um, the dehazing part, I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to use my pressure washer. That way it can blow out, because my water hose is not strong enough to blow out the, um, the image. So, but that's basically how you do it. Just um, get you a haze removal solution that you like, that you like to work with, that works for you in your shop. There's thousands of them on the market. Uh, there are lots of different brands and some works better than others. I found this right here from uh, Rhino Tech. I'm not advertising for Rhino Tech either, but it works good for me. So that's what I use. And so thank you guys for joining Screen Print TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button and leave a comment if you have any questions. I just want to show you guys how I do it in my shop for you beginners. You veteran guys out there that might be watching this, you got your own technique and the way that you do it in your shop. But for you beginner guys, if you want to know how to dehaze your screen, that's how you do it, basically. Okay guys, I am out.